What's going on, everybody? So for everybody that watched this game last night like I did, at one point, you really thought the Hawks were going to do something, bro. Everybody was hitting threes on their team. Uh, they were trying to compete. But it just didn't seem right, bro. Every time I saw LeBron James just run down into the lane like a wild savage, you know, he's like a wild savage animal, bro. You're not going to stop him. You know, Jeff T got to fucking give him an elbow right quick to show him what was right at the end of the game. But it, it's, it's sad um, that... The, the way it, it it just seems like you know it's like David and Goliath but it's not like the Bible story you know what I'm saying like it, it, it's not gonna happen Atlanta Hawks they're going home to go chill you know you go do something with themselves maybe watch the playoffs or something like that they have no shot I've said that from the beginning um I stand by it you know my picks are very very solid if, if I'm wrong I'll let you guys know that I, you know you guys got me but they, they were winning most of this game and the Cavs just came back and just took it it was just it was whatever. Dudes just did whatever they wanted to do at any time. And you're not going to win a championship with that kind of stuff happening. You're not going to win playoff games with that kind of stuff happening. It's just they're outmatched. It's the bottom line. It's it's They're overpowered. They're not ready for what Cleveland has to offer. And it's as simple as that. Um, the fourth quarter was a nightmare uh, for the, um, the Hawks. And as you can see with the differences with Miami and the Cleveland Cavaliers is that the Cavs know how to close you out. You know, like, they're not trying to turn the ball over and do crazy shit when the game is closed, they finish the game off. That's why I don't think Miami will be able to do anything when it comes to beating Cleveland. That and Chris Bosh being out for the remainder of the season. Um, you know, my condolences to the Atlanta Hawks fans, man. Get your brooms out. This one's going to be a sweep. Until next time, one love.